Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Taro and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into Scorpio and uh, their week December uh, 7th to December 13th 2020 and uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me you can uh, check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a link to my website and my Facebook page but from my website uh, you can purchase um, <coughs> any service that it is on the very front page and as well uh, if you are interested in learning tarot I'm offering a an online tarot classes as well so with uh, oh my god with, with that being said let me just finish the shuffle here and uh, make the cut so with that being said let's see what awaits us for the upcoming week the first card that we are going to experience there or that is the topic and um, the core of the week itself that will be the uh, king of swords followed by the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here we do have the ace of wands moving next that is to be the challenges that we need to overcome and that is going to be the uh, hermit okay followed by the gifts and the blessings that we do get to enjoy throughout the week that is to be the hierophant Moving next, it is the impression that you are, that we are going to, and I'm saying we because I'm Scorpio as well, but that we are going to live into the people around, that is going to be the Ace of Cups, followed by uh, the obstacles which are going to hold us back throughout the week, and that will be the uh, Empress. Moving next, we have the positive aspects which are going to push us uh, through the week they are going to help us move forward that is to be the knight of swords and the last one which is the guidance the tarot is offering to us that will be the wheel of fortune so my fellas uh, with with this reading or with this week uh, it's not a question of is it for example going to happen the question is when and that will be the core of the challenge that we will need to over it all resides within the challenge that we are going to face throughout the week but let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves and let's see the very first two cards which are describing the overall general overview of uh, the week itself so we do have the Ace of Wands, that is the energy feeding up and supporting the topic of itself, which is the King of Swords. So this week, no matter what comes to us, regardless if it's going to be in a business field or in a relationship field, we the, the week itself is going to make us approach it in a very wise fashion, if that's an, an expression. Now, first of all, what we are to understand, it is that our deeds throughout the week and in generally the situations that we are to arise, that, that we are to face and that are to arise throughout the week, they are just a, 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 a piece of a chain. One thing led to another that led to the thing in the week, which is, gonna, which is going to lead to something in the future. And for that reason, uh, the week is going to make us move very slowly with our things or with, with, with our enterprises in general here that we do have for a reason that we will not want to screw the things around because the energies here of the Ace of Wands is pointing that we are going to feel very enthusiastic, we are going to feel very cheerful as well uh, and, and it is like we're going to feel that our life it's, it's revitalizing once again and we are about to experience something we haven't experienced before for us the uh, these energies are going to bring us the gaining for enterprise that enterprise it's not related to any experience we had thus far and for that reason uh, within the week we will kind of, we will kind of like stop ourselves for a little bit just so we can analyze the best possible way how to make it effective, how to pretty much give it reason, give it meaning 
uh, and in generally, you know, make it worth its while. That's what the core of the week is itself. Now, is this enterprise going to happen throughout the week? I don't know, not for, not for every single one of us, okay? Because it is within the energy. It's there, it's waiting for us, but it may not happen throughout the week. That doesn't mean, however, that we should not prepare for it. And that preparation codes comes through a careful analysis of the surroundings of the situation. So we should not rush things through, regardless if that's about career or that's about relationship, but we need to think very wisely and carefully about what should be the next step, especially if we're talking about partnerships here, because with partnerships, the King of Swords, uh, it, it approaches the situation in a way that everybody serves a purpose. Everything serves a purpose, okay? And everything works like a well-oiled machine. And the King of Swords, the energy of the King of Swords, or, or the reason of the King of Swords, it is that make, he, make, he makes sure that everything works in synergy, in synchron, and everybody knows its place. That way, the result is going to be flawless out there. If something starts to strain and kind of like surpasses certain... Uh, boundaries or certain limitations, it kind of like breaks through those boundaries and those limitations, uh, things are starting to go south. And that's something that for what it seems we're not going to allow throughout the week. But that being said, it's going to be focused into that new beginning that it is looming on the horizon for us. And that is exactly where the challenge resides. We have the uh, Hermit here as a challenge, and that poses a little bit of a, a lack of patience. Okay, so we are going to be impatient to to live through this gaining full enterprise or this new new beginning, new experience. Okay, that is something we never felt or we never went through before. But uh, the Hermit, uh, it's it's a very profound card, if I may say it that way, because it does says that this experience is going to be something very substantial for us, for our life in general. And we should not ruin the very first impression and very first experience that we are having with us. And uh, it poses the challenge of approaching it with a huge portion of intelligence and wisdom. And that's why we should not rush the things through. Another thing about the Hermit uh, is the, um, how can I say, the fall off, support that is going to come with a challenge. Um, whatever this new experience for us is to be, not everybody is going to be agreed with. And we need to learn to let go of, of those that are not agreed with that, with that thing. Either that may be new job, project, you know, um, activity or whatever it is. So not everybody is going to be there to applaud for us by a large margin. But those that are happy for us and those that are, uh, are supporting us, they don't need to understand us. They just need to support us because, you know, they may be faithful to us. They are those people that are substantial for us and for our deeds it's, uh, themselves. But long story short here, if you find it hard to believe, Scorpio, what that experience is promising, it is something very, very substantial for us. That's why I said at the start of the reading, isn't a matter of is it going to happen. The matter is of when it's going to happen. And we need to approach the situation once again with intelligence, wisdom, so we can wait it out. Okay, so we can wait out that state that we are in waiting impatiently that that, that experience to come about finally. So moving next we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that we do get to enjoy that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the Hierophant. So that is the gift and the blessing uh, in, its, in its large scale of the gift and the blessing of the trust, mutual reliability and support with those that are substantial to us, okay? So uh, if you are, for example, within a relationship or if you are within a, some, any kind of partnership, that is what 
it will be gifted and blessed to you, to us. <clears throat> and uh, another thing about this particular energy here that we do have, it is the ability to talk about literally anything. Uh, because and that, that, that is a huge gift. If there is something that you are holding back, which for example, you think that um, it's gonna be, it's going to be the, the, the breaking stone out there, uh, with with this gift and uh, blessing, it's the, the chance, not the chance, but you are going to be understood. And if the person that understands you doesn't want to give you a break, then they are one of those which are not applauding you for what you found is substantial for you and they pretty much doesn't have a place or a room around you. But the thing is, is that you are going to, we are going to enjoy on a benevolent support here as a gift and blessing, understanding profound and deep conversations that are accompanied with understanding and uh, whatever problem we are to face throughout the week, especially if it relates to people or with people, um, it will be uh, resolved within the framework of already existing conditions and existing patterns. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We don't have to find or re rediscover that the water can be warmed, all right? Uh, we just have to talk about it. It's, it's all that it takes. But um, I personally am satisfied just with only one gift and blessing, and that is trust, mutual support, and reliability. So... Moving next, we do have the impression that others are placing on us as a Scorpio and that will be the uh, Ace of Cups. And uh, for those that are within a relationship, that is an amazing card, okay? Because people truly are going to, for those that are in relationship once again, people, th those people that are in a relationship with us are just going to see us as the, as the game changer because that's what the Ace of Cups is when something happens. Okay, and pretty much transcends your daily reality into something as beautiful as you have never imagined. And everything that you have, that you had concerned of, okay, everything that, that's, or these people had as a concerned of, these people had as a doubt, these people had as a problem, and it becomes, it becomes irrelevant. It is because you are there now. From another standpoint, um, if I have to classify it with one word, when people look at you, they are going to see a lovely thing. Okay, that's, that's all that there is to it. But for those which are substantial, you are going to be much, much more than that. Your colleagues, for example, Scorpio, are going to see you once again as a game changer, as a person that they can rely on, that they can, um, how can I say, uh, they can count on to say, take the matters and resolve the things, especially having it the first two cards where your analytical, our analytical mind and intelligence comes to play in its, um, in its peak form. So moving next, it is the obstacles which are going to hold us back. And uh, that is the, the Empress. So it's a it's pretty peculiar card that we, that we are having here. And uh, it could play about in a few different ways. Uh, that, that refers, and it does depend to what kind of a situation we are in. So one of the most poignant and uh, negative, if I may say that way, uh, that way, way that it could manifest itself is through way over committed sacrifice that we are to make, giving from ourselves way too much and getting nothing in return. Uh, while this is going to be in a very small amount of people, because the Empress itself carries on with it the energy that you reap what you sow, whether bitter or sweet. And when you give, you are going to take back, regardless if it's going to be from one thing or another, you give to one thing, you take from another. So there will be balance there, but for some of us, it may happen that you that, that we take that we took so much that now is the time where we have to give, okay? And that is going to hold us back for throughout the week, 
mostly is going to occupy most of our time. The other way how it could manifest itself, it is way too much of a maturity of us and not being able to see the things from the childish side, from the uh, pretty much, you know, that, that side where we are um, uh, unattached and pretty much, um, I don't know how to say it, spontaneous, uh, innocent, pure, and so on and so forth. We may find ourselves always seeking for something hidden in behind lines, in behind words, in behind intentions, and etc, etc, which is again the thing that is going to hold us back, which makes it untrue, unreal, celluloid, a fallacy. And uh, the last thing that may, uh, that may truly hold us back is if we are pretty strict with the way we anticipate things. Once again, we have to let to be carried on and just don't, uh, we should not try to kind of like make a plan, if we may say it that way, a long-term plan, but just carry on with the current circumstances. And having the very first two cards, guys, what we, whatever circumstance appears in front of us, we are almost instantly going to uh, figure out how to deal with it. We may need a little bit of a time to pretty much analyze and, and figure out the, the minor details in it, but the big picture is going to be almost instantly with a snap of our fingers formed in front of us. Moving next, we do have the uh, positive aspects that uh, are going to help us throughout the week, and that is the uh, Knight of Swords. So that is in an individual, a Knight of Swords, when it comes in help, it could comes about in two ways. That is one, one of the ways, it is someone who makes a point in front of us that we always need to follow where our emotions are leading us to. That is a person, Knight of Swords, it is the only court card in Swords that follows their emotions and they are accompanied with logic, however. It's, it's kind of like some kind of a strange balance out there. And uh, I will dispose my argument here. The knight is charging pretty determined into a specific direction because they believe in it. And this is where their emotions lies, okay? They believe in that direction because once again, their emotions are lying there and they logically fixed it themselves on it. And yeah, that person is going to encourage us to push into that direction, to always listen to our emotions. Uh, the other way how it could play out, it could be a partner of ours, regardless if it's going to be a business partner or an intimate partner, that despite the logic, um, or not despite the logic, but is going to find the logic within their emotions and side with us in one way or another. Which, whichever one it is the manifestation here, Okay, uh, it's, it's going to play out to, to our benefit rather than to our detriment, uh, detriment. These people, they have a very sharp mind, analytical one, and whatever it is the obstacle that we have to, and I'm saying we because we're talking about partnership here, we have to overcome with our mind, as we saw that is going to be very analytical, intelligent and wise, and their mind who is very keen, sharp and logically oriented, the, res the resolution of whatever obstacle we are to stand, to stand in front is going to be resolved or is going to come about. We're gonna just figure it out right there. And uh, the last one, which is the guidance here that we do have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, it relates to the experience, to the amazing ex experience that awaits us in the future and we have to wait a little bit uh, longer for it. Some of us have to wait, I don't know, maybe a day or two within the week. Some of us may have to wait a week. Some of us may have to wait a month. Again, this is about preparation and determining ourselves that that is what we need. Here, that card, it is just a, uh, some kind of a amplification saying that this experience is going to be truly the game changer for us and uh, is going to force a once in a lifetime change for the better that is. And for some of us, it is the only thing we, we have waited for or, or we needed, you know, that, may, that we may have not even realized that we need it. 
because the wheel of fortune it's a thing that happens spontaneously out of nowhere you don't expect it and it just it changes your life toward heights that you you haven't imagined that you can reach so that being said scorpio this was our a weekly general tarot reading guys uh hopefully you do enjoyed it and uh you do liked it and uh we may see each other next time until then bye